Hi, I'm Richard Hines, also known as the Miami Dog Whisperer, and today I'm very proud and honored to share with you a dog trainer from Chicago, Jesus San Miguel, who owns Canine Perspective in Chicago. Jesus was a graduate of my academy. The academy trains people to be top level professional dog trainers. And Jesus has really made a name for himself in Chicago. He's becoming the go-to guy. Behavior, aggression, he can do it all. And Jesus today is gonna to tell his story of how his journey started, how he came to me, his experience, in my academy. So if anybody out there is thinking about being a dog trainer, this is a must watch video for anybody thinking about stepping into the dog training field. So here's Jesus. Hi, I'm Jesus San Miguel with K9 Perspective, uh, based in Chicago, Illinois. Uh, my clients know me as Jesse. And I am a former graduate of Richard Hines' uh, Academy of Dog Training. And uh, to kind of give you a backstory, I started working with dogs back in about mid, as, as a dog trainer, uh, probably about 2011. I had done dog walking and stuff, like just like little trick stuff with dogs prior. Um, but then I had, at that point, I was kind of looking at it as a career choice. And uh, I remember. I had to write down some dates here, but uh, back in I can't remember, May of 2012, May 21st of 2012, uh, I had Eve sent an email to them inquiring about this DVD series that he was promoting at the time about dog training because I wanted to, of course, advance my learning. And I was like, well, you know, I'll pick up these DVDs. Uh, and he couldn't do them because he had some uh, some deal stuff working on that he was kind of working on. So then that was like a bummer. Uh, and I just kept kind of watching his, his YouTube videos that uh, he would put out and I remember I came across those videos back in like 2011 and I always used to like watch them and the first video that got me hooked was the one where he's walking with the Great Dane off leash like in the middle of a street and I thought it was amazing like the, the Great Dane was on every single movement he was making if he took one step the Great Dane took one step if he took five steps the Great Dane took five steps And I, I was blown away. And I wanted to learn how he was able to create such a level of focus and response from that dog. And um, uh, I, you know, I continued watching his, 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 his movies or his, his, his YouTube videos. And then in November, November 28th of 2012, I sent him an email and I asked him about if they could do an internship. And they responded and they said yes. They gave me a quote, they said it'd be for three months you know, and covered and kind of like a short synopsis of what it would cover. And that choice that I made to send him that email, send him that email to study with him was a life changing moment for me. Because at that, that the moment I got the email back with the price, I was like, I'm going to do this. And I spent roughly the next year to year and a half working and saving up money to go study with Richard. And to this day, without a doubt, the best choice that I made. Um, I learned so much and it really sped up the learning curve. Like I bypassed a lot of trial and everything because Richard Reed told me that's not going to work and why. Uh, and just simply watching him and how he operates, uh, I was able to just pick up on a lot of that. And so come February 5th of 2014, I officially left to go study with Richard. So uh, I knew with absolute certainty that 
studying with him was going to be necessary for me to get my business where I needed it to be uh, quickly because um, you know, I had already been working with dogs on my own, doing behavior work, working with reactivity and aggression. Um, and I was able to help a lot of people. And I did come across, uh, it was, I believe, two cases. There was an aggression case and a nervous dog case. And even though they made progress, I had hit like a plateau with them that I couldn't advance them any further. And then... You know, I would watch Richard's videos, and he was dealing with similar cases, but then he would show the end result, and they were completely turned around. And that's what I wanted to be able to do, was to get that level of success with my clients. Like, it, I wasn't happy with just getting them 70% of the way. I wanted to get them as close to 100, if not 100, as possible. So, uh, you know, I spent that whole year and a half working. I dedicated myself to going to Miami, it was going to happen whether it took me a year, if it took me five years, I was going to go to Miami with absolute certainty, without a doubt, it was going to happen. So I left and uh, I went, left in February of 2014, did a road trip with my three dogs and I was down in Miami with Richard for three months and I remember uh, first day was a trial day and uh, he came and picked me up at a gas station about a block away from where I was staying at. And I remember I was nervous because I was used to seeing him on, on the YouTube videos and stuff. So it was kind of like meeting a celebrity. And, you know, I saw him pumping gas. <laughs> you know, and, uh, you know, I said hi and shook hands. And from there, you know, the rest is history, really. Um, speaking on behalf of, like, speaking about Richard and his personality, like, he's a great guy. Like, he's funny, uh, very knowledgeable. He knows what he knows. There's no doubt if he says something I never disagreed with anything that's come out of Richard's mouth at all uh, I've watched a lot of dog trainers uh, I was a big fan of Caesar Milan um, and I would pluck stuff I, I'd be like that makes sense I'm gonna take that but the rest of it I don't like uh, same thing with Caesar like I like a lot of what he says but and I, I, I used to utilize it but it only would get me so far uh, but then after studying with Richard and I mean, just even listening to Richard and watching his videos, there was nothing that he's ever said that I've ever disagreed with that I thought was wrong, ever. Um, and now, actually, since I've studied with Richard, I can't watch other trainers' videos anymore. Like, I, I can't do it. Like, I tried, and now, since I know what I know, there's a, my, my, my level of critique is even higher because of now of all the knowledge that he's, he's given me that I'm like, yeah, there's no need to do that. Like, or that a lot of that doesn't make sense. Whereas before, before I studied with them, I took a lot more, you know, like I, I, I was like a blank slate and I was like just taking everything I could learn, even though I was kind of picky of what I was, of what I was retaining from them. But after studying with Richard, I honestly don't watch dog training videos. I don't read dog training books. Uh, I know um, a lot of trainers, uh, we'll get like other trainers books and stuff like that and unless Richard's releasing a new book or releasing a new DVD series Even if it is on stuff that he's already taught me. I'm gonna buy it because uh, I can always use a refresher, but um, uh, Nothing compares to what he knows so um, My level of understanding of both dog behavior obedience remote work clicker training, you know, prong collar, all that stuff is just on a whole different level. And um, um, everything else for me is now is just it's too slow. Like it's, it's I, I can't watch it. Like I understand what they're doing, I get it, but it doesn't do me any good. I, I don't, I wouldn't really pick up anything from them. So I stopped watching other trainers. Uh, he definitely has a gift that um, is not something you can pull from a book. You can't get this stuff from a book. This is something that it's, it's just a gift that he has. He has that eye. He has that way of thinking that allows him to really work with any case. I mean, I challenge anybody to bring a dog to Richard that he can't fix. He's going to get it done. You let him do what he needs to do, it's going to happen. And I think that's just incredible. 
uh, and to 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 see what he's able to achieve just with what he was able to teach himself it's just complete it's incredible like it's 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 crazy and to see him work too it's 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 nuts like <laughs> there's no, I, I watch so many trainers on YouTube and there's always something about Richard and that's why I knew I had to study with them it's like uh, uh, it's an art form. Dog training is an art. And, and Richard opened my eyes to that. He was like, you know, dog training is an art form. And each dog that he trains, like you see, like you can pluck that dog out of a lineup of, if you have 10 German Shepherds trained by 10 different trainers, I will be able to pluck out which one is trained by Richard Hines by the way that dog moves. Cause I, cause the way that Richard trains transfers over to the dog and their movements and their motions. And it just has a certain finesse, it has a certain energy to it, it has a certain look. Uh, just like, you know, you can tell a Picasso painting from like a Monet painting. Uh, or like, you know, I can recognize uh, Carlos Santana's tone and uh, Jimi Hendrix's guitar tone. Like, I, they have such a personal touch to their art form that you can recognize it when you see it or you hear it. And that, that's very much how it is with Richard's work and his method of dog training. It just has a certain touch, a certain finesse, a certain feel that if you put them up in the lineup and have those dogs perform all those tricks or, or all those movements or, or whatever you need them to do, you will be able to pick out which dog is Richard's. Uh, and I think that's, that speaks volumes about, about his approach. He's not somebody that copied somebody else. He is his own thing. He is his own entity, his own uh, persona. And he's a one up. He's a, he's not a one in a million. He's a one in the entire earth of a kind dog trainer. And uh, I feel blessed and very lucky to be able to say that I would I study with him. And actually, you know, because we keep in touch, we don't talk a whole lot, but we do keep in touch. If he's got a new video up, that I think is pretty cool, or he'll he'll make a comment about one of my videos. Uh, so it's, it's really cool. Um, but, you know, I talked to Richard just about a week ago and uh, I told him, like, hey, I was like, I want to go back to Miami for like another two weeks to a month because I want to brush up on my behavior stuff and I want to brush up on some more protection training, you know? So uh, I was like, I'm not, there's a lot of other trainers I can go to, uh, I, but there's no point. I was like, I, I started with Richard. I would never settle for anything less than Richard. Um, and I'm more than happy. I and mean, there's always more to learn. I learned a ton in the three months. Uh, but I just kind of want to brush up and, and, and advance. I know he's got more for me. Richard's knowledge is limitless. And uh, so definitely one of the best choices I ever made. Uh, so with the internship, I highly, highly recommend it. I get calls from trainers that want to study with Richard probably once a week. At least once a week, somebody's either asking me about what are his methods or they're asking me how was the experience with Richard. So let this be an answer to everybody that wants to, like, that wants to call me. Um, do it. Without a doubt, do it. You know, if you're looking at going with the franchise, if you're looking at going with you know other trainers and stuff like that, um, <clears throat> without a doubt, Richard is the best out of anybody you can study with. Out of anybody in, in, in the U.S., anybody in the world you can study with, Richard is the guy that will you will pull so much from that you won't get from a franchise's two to three week program. There's there's dog academies out there that you could go study for for two to four months. I mean not two four months, two to four years, and you still won't get anywhere near the amount of knowledge that you will get studying with Richard for three months. Heck, you could study with Richard for two weeks and still pull more than you would pull from a place like that for a year. Because right? this is hands-on, his over 20 years of experience. This isn't out of a book. This isn't out of a book. You know, there's certain things that you can't pluck out of a book. Troubleshooting behavior cases, you can't pull out of a book. Uh, learning how to read a dog's body language, you can't pull out of a book outside of the basic stuff, like a tail between the legs. Uh, remote, advanced remote training, you know, clicker training, like like real legit high level clicker training, you're not going to get from a book. You're not going to get that in a classroom setting. You, you're going to get that from studying with someone who's done it day after day, case after case, uh, for over 20 years. 
who has a, 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 a great, he, uh, he's a natural teacher because that's the other part of it. So that's what makes him really good as well is that he's a natural teacher and he makes things very easy for you to understand. And that can't be said for you know training programs or academies and franchises and stuff like that. There's a lot of there's a couple of franchise franchises out there. There's one in particular that had like at one point seventy I think franchises, and now it's dropped down to like forty or thirty five because they try to cram stuff in two weeks, and it's not even that great of a training program. And then say here now you're now you know you can do that. No, like if anything, if I'm going to spend money. I'm not gonna do two weeks at a franchise. I'd rather do two weeks with Richard. You know, I'd rather do two weeks with Richard at five times that price point of the franchise because I know he's gonna get me, give me the knowledge that I'm gonna to need to learn, and I'm gonna walk away with a ton of information. Uh, uh, in regards to what we did, uh, essentially, I was like a shadow. Like I, we drove around Miami. Uh, I would follow him from case to case. To see, um, uh, you know, just watch him work with, you know, obedience, aggression cases. Just kidding, I didn't mean it. <laughs> All sorts of different behavior problems, puppy stuff, everything. I follow him for everything. We also did some private training where he would come to me and we worked with my dogs. There's a lot of foot footage of, um, of, uh, that I have of him working with my pit, Lexi, for the most part. Finish. Circle. 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 Chihuahua and my <laughs> That was awesome the turn. That? that was awesome, yeah. <laughs> my chow mix a little bit and he taught me his method and his approach to remote training as well as clicker training. Um, which was a huge, huge factor uh, in how I post dog training now. Like, it's just simple, it's effective. His methods are super easy to pick up on and they're highly, highly reliable. Uh, I was like, completely amazed and blown away at, at, the, <coughs> at the ease of, of <coughs> transference from, with the obedience from, you know, when Richard would work with, work with my dog and then to me. And then of course, like, so he would work with me with one dog and then I would apply what he taught me with, like, with my pit and then bring it over and I'll work with my Chihuahua and my Chomix. So all my, so all three of my dogs are off these trained. And when I was studying with them, I think it took me one week, maybe one to two weeks of actually him working with me and teaching me his healing methods and his, his obedience methods and stuff like that to get my dogs off these reliable. Cause I was just learning at that point. And I would walk from my place through Miami. I was in the art district which is like 15 minutes west of, northwest of South Beach. And I'd be walking downtown, uh, down like through, you know, the art district, uh, to the dog park and all that stuff with my dogs off leash. Three of my dogs off leash. Within one to two weeks of him teaching me, and then now, you know, since I've practiced so much over the course of a couple of years, 
um, two days I can get a dog off these shielding and stuff. So none of that would have been or would be possible if it wasn't for my internship with Richard. Um, we, we did start to get into protection work with my, with my pit bull Lexi. What? <coughs> Push in, Jesus. Push in, push in, push in. You're talking good though. You're talking away from that bite. <laughs> <laughs> I see. <laughs> You're avoiding that pain. <laughs> so he 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 started. Uh, he he introduced me to that and got me to learn his kind of style of how he approaches protection training, uh, which is very different from what's promoted a lot. Um, and uh, I remember we're studying like we're not studying, but when talking to him. Uh, he opened my eyes to the difference between real protection training and uh, protection training where dogs are trained to bite a sleeve and you know they, they bring the dog to the owner and they're like yeah this dog's a protection dog, it's protection trained, look he knows how to bite and the dog bites the sleeve but the dog doesn't have any real defense drive or the dog um, won't operate under stress or under under confrontation like they don't know how to to actually protect the owner in a situation where the owner would need them and I that was a real big eye-opener to me like I, you know like I didn't I didn't know that I just thought oh like oh this is a dog that like bites you know they train them to bite people because you, you see him do it they must mean that he's protection trained and that's not actually that's actually not how it works that's it's a whole different process and then once I saw him in action and he explained it to me it made total sense and I get it uh, and I understood it. So now, like, I get people that ask me, or I have had people actually tell me they've bought protection dogs. And they're those very same protection dogs that know how to bite a sleeve, but don't know how to uh, go into defense drive or don't know how to go into aggression on command when the owner needs them, when there's not, no sleeve or anything there to bite. Like, that's all just prey drive. So, uh, definitely, that was a really big eye opener for me. Tricks and stuff. We did tricks as well, um, just so he could get. I, I could learn better how uh, to mold behaviors and, 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 and to advance clicker training as well as remote training. And he thinks Richard thinks outside of the box, which is which. We did some stuff to train a couple of things that was like crazy, and it worked, and it was super simple. But I would have never thought about it. Like it wouldn't have occurred to me like, oh, you know, if you just do this couple of things, we'll use a leash here, we'll do a box here, and this. We could teach the dogs to like flip around, walk backwards, and go between your legs. And I was like, what? And then lo and behold, a few days in, my pit bull is spinning around in front of me and walking backwards and reversing between my legs. Back. Spin. Burn. Yes. Back. Back. Spin. First. And you know, it, it took some like finesse and it took some, you know, some out of the box thinking, but she learned it and it, it was super cool. So that's again, something that um, I, I carry with myself to this day, you know, learning how to troubleshoot and, um, you know, just following him and, and watching him and watching him operate between the before and after, of course, is where a huge chunk of the learning comes from. Uh, and then, uh, you know, if he works with you, if working with you privately um, is great because then you can always add, ask questions and uh, he, he's always got the answer. If you propose something that's not correct, you know, he'll tell you like, you know, that wouldn't work because of this. So then, you know, you got a reasoning um, 
behind what he says. So, Richard, as a person, great guy, very personable, uh, very polite, very funny. Uh, definitely, definitely cool to hang out with him for as much as I, as I was able to. Um, in regards to what he can teach you, anything. The guy can teach you anything. Uh, if you want to specialize in just obedience stuff, you he'll, he'll take you light years, light years ahead of where you'll get yourself if you go anywhere else. Uh, behavior training uh, definitely does require a special understanding and a good eye um, for dog behavior. Uh, but if you go with an open mind and you you really study him and watch his videos and, and, and listen to what he's telling you and take it in, take it in the heart. I didn't take anything he said with a grain of salt. I took everything that came out of his mouth to heart. And um, you will you will advance your, your understanding of dog behavior tremendously. Uh, uh, that's gonna wrap up my video. Very satisfied, very, I am very thankful for everything that I learned from Richard. Uh, I do look forward to spending more time in Miami to study with him. And uh, that concludes my testimonial. I am again Jesse or Jesus with San Miguel with Canine Perspective. And uh, I'm signing out. And Richard, hope to see you soon. Hope to grab some more uh, Mo Southwest Grill stacks. <laughs> All right, take care. Until next time. So I want to thank Jesus. I'm very proud of him. He's done a great job. He was a great student, and that has transferred over to his career. So if anybody's looking for a dog trainer, and you're in the Chicago area, without question you need to look up Jesus San Miguel at Canine Perspective. Till next time, Miami Dog Whisperer.